Welcome to the African Leadership Series, where we bring you great inspirational speeches of African leaders. And President John Pombe Magufuli, as if he was a Catholic father saying, Nimekuskia mwanang. Nimekuskia mwanang. That there is an African leader who can stand up to international pirates who for 20 years have deprived Tanzania of taxes that would have gone to schools, taxes that would have gone to the health sector, taxes that would have gone to infrastructure, taxes that would have gone into agriculture. John Pombe Magufuli is a breath of fresh air. I know that there are some Tanzanians who may think that he's disrupting their agenda. John Pombe Magufuli disrupt their agenda. For if you come into a country and you find a country, a patient suffering from cancer, you've got to subject them to chemotherapy. And when you administer chemotherapy, the hair will fall out a little. There will be some pain. That pain is necessary because there is no gain without pain. I'm not a Jewish prophet nor related to one. I'm not a member of CCM. But if John Pombe Magufuli continues on this trajectory and has a second term, in the next 10 years, Tanzania will be one of the largest economies in this country. God save John Pombe Magufuli. <laughs> you know, I was reading a tweet and some American is saying, bring us John Pombe Magufuli. <laughs> and I was in Kenya and I said at one time that we need to magulify Kenya. <laughs> in other words, there is a sense in which a new English word can be found the magufulification of Africa. <laughs> in fact, I dare say that even my own paper, instead of calling it a call for hygiene in African politics, I would say the magufulification of Africa. And I would still be right. But the whites say that one swallow does not make a summer. There are other good examples in Africa of the beginning of the introduction of political hygiene, Ian Kama in Botswana. Ian Kama in Botswana, it is said that a minister in his government went to him and said, I've been named in a scandal, Your Excellency help me. He told him there is nothing that I can do. The individual went to his rural home. The following day, it is reported that he had committed suicide. I'm not a sadist nor do I intend to be one, but if there are such individuals, I want more suicides. <laughs> Ian Kama is yet another breath of fresh air. Paul Kagame of Rwanda, 1994, the United Nations turned away. The Rwandese, within 100 days, anything between 800,000 and 1 million Tutsis and moderate Hutus were killed even in churches. Then there came a tall, lanky man, Paul Kagame, and his comrades in arms. I was there two days ago, and one of the best drives out of any airport in the world is to be found in Kigali, in Rwanda. <laughs> and you can see, so that those who thought that Africans cannot do it, our color is innocent. The Negroid, the dark color is innocent. It is not in our DNA. No. What happens is that there are some within our ranks who are errant, who must be punished. One can go on and on, but even my own Good friend Yoweri Kaguta Museveni found a dilapidated Uganda. And even if you say that Yoweri has now stayed a little longer, there is a sense in which history will remember him fondly. One can go on and on. 
but one must also remember that lunch must be served. And if one remembers that lunch must be served, one must also remember that there is the law of diminishing returns. <laughs> and one must also remember that one must now grow to their conclusion, even as they are talking about a call for political hygiene. So I'm submitting to us this morning that Africa can be great and Africa must be great. But Africa will only be great if we Africans do that which is good and right. The great Indian nationalist Chakravati Raja Gopalachari <laughs> said that when politics stumbles, the country pays. So the first thing that we must do is to introduce hygiene in our politics. And now that I'm in Tanzania, the first thing that we must do is to magulify our politics. I know that there is a Kiswahili saying, Mgema Kisifiwa Tembo Litiamaji, and I'm conscious that one of the names of President Magufuli is Pombe. But I have no doubt that President Magufuli will remain on the right course. As you say here in Tanzania, Atabaki kwenye njiaku hata chepua. I'm suggesting to us that we introduce hygiene in our politics, which means, and Mze Wariaba will remember when we were talking about the Constitution, Africans must begin looking at their Constitution, and they must be constitutions which are address the African environment. If you like more African speeches like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. Remember to leave your suggestions on the topics you would like us to cover in the comments below.